Hello, tiny friends. Welcome back to Tiny Keyhole Minis. I'm Jolene, and today I'm kind of procrastinating on another project. But in the meantime, I thought I could share this one with you. So I'm going to customize this Chris and Bond vanity set. I purchased this one from Earth and Tree uh, Miniatures and Dollhouse Store. And I've had it for a while. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to be moving into working on Marco's bedroom soon. So I'm going to get some things prepared in the meantime. And again, I'm just procrastinating. <laughs> but I do have to get back to that project. So this one actually comes with pieces that are already assembled. So the mirror and the brush. If you get this kit in the bag, you have to put those pieces together yourself. And I do have a couple different silvers. I have a steel, which has sort of like an older look, and then I have a chrome. And I kind of want to use the steel because it has an older look. It looks like it has some sort of patina to it. And that's what I'm going to go for today, but I'm not sure about it. So in case I have to use the chrome, I have this rub and buff. It's antique gold, and that'll help give me the look that I'm going for. I also have these nail decals and these ones are tulips and I thought this would be a great uh, detail to add to the set. So I'm going to use these and detail this set. Okay so this kit comes with two frames and behind it it comes with a little piece of paper that has two templates on it for the frames so that you can size the pictures that you want to put inside the frames. I'm only going to use one of these as a frame because I have an idea for the other one. Okay, in this kit, you'll get a button hook, a nail file, and a cuticle cutter. And these things are so tiny, but they were already pre-painted on the metal parts. So I'm going to be painting the handles. The tester steel paint was a little too thin and I felt like I would have to do multiple layers and I want to try and use as little paint as I possibly can. So I'm going to go with the silver chrome which shows up beautifully on the first layer and I'll be using less paint. I want them to look like they're real silver and metal pieces. This is probably going to be a set that was passed down to Miss Margot from her mother and I want it to look kind of old. So after this first layer of chrome dries, I'm gonna come back in with the antique gold rub and buff and age it just a little bit and try and make the silver look like it's a bit tarnished. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of coloring to tie in the decals. For the brush and the nail buffer, I used a tester's ivory color and it was kind of like a creamish ivory and I just thought that this was a perfect color to go with. Now I really did want to add my own bristles to the brush but I didn't want to try and pull that piece off because I really don't know if that's a fully molded piece or if somebody had put those two pieces together. But I am going to go in with a little bit of brown later on just to give some more realism to those bristles. Now I did get a little bit of paint on the mirror and I just wanted to share this tip with you. I was able to clean it off with just a dry cotton swab and I just kind of rubbed it and buffed it away and it came off and that was the tester's paint. So if you're going for acrylic it would come off a little easier and you don't have to use anything additional which may leave residue on it. Now I'm going in with the antique gold rub and buff and I'm just trying to add this lightly. Some spots are a lot heavier than others, but um, for the most part, it worked out. So you can see I'm adding um, a heavy amount and then wiping most of that off. I just want a hint of this, but I'm so heavy handed that it's, you know, difficult for me to get that look. I'm doing all the pieces, including the tiny little file handles. Okay, so these two steps are completed and I'm gonna add a little bit of that brown 
to the nail buffer and the brush bristles. I'm just using a detailed brush for this and uh, some brown acrylic with a little bit of water so that it's not so heavy and dark. I don't want the brush to look dirty. I'm just trying to highlight the bristles and bring them out a little more. Okay, I'm gonna begin uh, detailing the two frames. And for the square frame, it will be a picture frame. I'm gonna use this decal that is like a little picture frame and I'm just gonna cut bits off of it to add more detail to the frame. Here's a picture of Miss Margot's husband and her son when he was younger and I thought this would be a really nice picture to frame for her so she can put it in her bedroom. I'm gonna mix these two colors of acrylic with white and I'm gonna try and create the same color that's in the decals because there's this antique bluish green mint light blue some, something like that so i'm going to try and create that just to add on to some of the decals and i'll also add some of it to the pieces as well as i go along now i am using tacky glue to add the decals onto the pieces even though they're already sticky i don't want that to come off later on and i'm also using it to add the little picture. I did cut a piece of acetate for the window and now I'm just adding a backing to it just to seal that all in. And now I'm going to add a little bit of that coloring that I created just to the decals. So I'm just adding a tiny bit and just spreading it around with a cotton swab. I just want this all to look like the set belongs together and it's all cohesive. We'll get a better look at everything when I am completely finished with this set in the end. For this frame, I cut out a piece of cardstock, painted it with that custom color. I'm gonna use it as a background. I'm not sure if it's gonna be seen yet. That's why I painted it just in case but I have these two decals that are little clocks and they have tulips that go around them. And I thought, this is perfect. They gave me the idea to make this frame into a little clock. Now there's two different sizes, but I'm gonna go for it. And this frame will be a little clock in the end. I did end up using the bigger piece and I'm just adding a little bit of tacky glue. I'm gonna glue it to the background and then I'm gonna place it right inside the frame. I'm gonna add a little bit of color to these decals. They're just little dots, and I'm gonna place them around the frame. And then I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit of resin to create that glass dome front. Okay, for the tray, I'm adding a little bit of that color to the bottom, and I'm just going right around the sides and then I'm gonna clean it up a bit with a precision cotton swab, just so that it's not too thick. I don't want really big lines. I just want a little bit of color right around the sides. So I'm just using water with this. Okay, I chose this decal that's kind of like a half circle. I'm adding some tacky glue, and it has a bundle of tulips on it. I'm placing this right in the middle of the tray along the bottom edge. Next, I'll work on the vanity jars. And I have these little ring decals. And I decided to use these because they were the perfect fit for the top parts of the jars. So I'm using some tacky glue to place them down. To give this little jar some of that added color, I'm just applying it to the ring. And then I'm using the cotton swab to spread it around and wipe off the excess. I'm gonna use this decal with a little bundle of tulips on it and apply it to the front of the jar. And I decided to create both jars exactly the same so they can be a matching pair. I'm gonna move on to this little brush and 
Let's see what I can do with this. Okay, I did find a single tulip and I'm just gonna place it on the back. And I'm also gonna use some more of those dots just to place around the top. And I'm gonna place a single dot on the bottom of the handle. To add some color to this brush, I'm just going right around the edge of the brush on the sides. And I will add a little bit to the dots as well. For these last pieces, I'm just going to use these two frame decals and cut them down. I will add some coloring around the edges of these like I did the brush. For the last step, I'm going to give everything a layer of matte varnish by DuraClear. This will seal in all the acrylic paint and the antique gold rub and buff. It'll also help seal in all the decals that I added just to give it some added security. Now it's time to take a closer look at this finished set. Okay, tiny friends, that is all I have for today. I'm going to store this set back in its case until I'm ready to use it. I hope you all enjoyed this video today and that it inspired you to customize one of your own sets. If you have one or if you've been wanting one, let me know what you thought of this set in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click that like button and give it a thumbs up. As always, I'd like to thank 
all my subscribers and welcome to all my new subscribers and tiny friends until next time. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you all on the mini side.